I am Dr. Bandita Sinha. I am a consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist with Cloud9 Hospital, Navi Mumbai. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. This is the commonest endocrinal problem seen in reproductive age group. This has become an epidemic nowadays. It is a spectrum of symptoms which include absence of periods or amenorrhea, weight gain or obesity, then there are large number of pimples or acne, facial hair growth and on sonography we can see multiple small cysts in the ovaries. That is why the term PCOD or polycystic ovarian syndrome or disease has been given. This is a condition which happens because of lifestyle factors. This is basically a lifestyle disease which is caused by lots of stress, absence of physical activity and indulging in too much of processed food or junk food. As of now, we see that there are more number of young girls, especially the teenage and young adults are suffering from this disease. So it is very important to understand why this has become epidemic in our country suddenly. As we all know that India is a diabetic capital of the world and PCOD is a pre-diabetic condition which gradually goes towards the diabetes. So we need to understand how this thing happens and why it is increasing now. The most important factor is stress which give rise to many disturbance in our pituitary and ovarian cycle and to add on it the processed food, lack of physical activity, this creates a hormonal imbalance. The hormonal imbalance which leads to hyperandrogenic condition that is there is excess amount of male hormones in a female body and there is a decline in the female hormones. As a result what happens there is a miscommunication between the master gland pituitary and the ovaries. So what happens the ovaries do not produce adequate amount of eggs instead of eggs they produce small small cysts in the ovaries that is why the condition is called polycystic ovaries. As a result of anovulation or if there is no production of eggs there is imbalance in the menstrual cycle leading to scanty periods and gradually there is no periods at all. This condition is also dependent on the insulin. These patients have a high insulin level in the body which is called hyperinsulinemic state which can lead to diabetes later on. As a result of this what happens there is weight gain. There is lots of androgen give rise to facial hair, acne and weight gain. Apart from this, this can also cause lots of mood changes, irritability, mood swings. So together there is a whole spectrum of um, symptoms which can see in these patients.